got my trailer now. I hit the garbage box there. <laughs> Touchdown! Hello everyone. I thought it was a long time since we have made any video log now, so I thought it was time to do it again. And the reason why I didn't make anything this winter is because I only been working, preparing crashed cars, work with sponsors and this kind of stuff to be ready for the racing season. Like now. Now I've been out for a easy run. Today it was 23 kilometers in the snow beautiful weather here in Norway today a little bit cold but good anyway and from this time on forward now i only going to finish two more crashed cars i'm working with i'm actually going to show you one of them and uh, then i'm going to finish on sponsor stuff and then i go to germany to pick up my seat racing car because that's where it's standing right now it's standing there crashed from last race last year so with other words <laughs> Just a little bit more hard work and then the fun start. This uh, Volkswagen Caddy there, four wheel drive. It's a crashed car I bought. It's not so much damaged, but it's a lot of parts damaged. So I was hoping to make it finish before I start with my racing car now and the preparation, but um, I have to wait to find a Dunler car. I have to find a car like this with crash at the rear because to buy all the parts new is too expensive. I'm now coming out the door from the new workshop and I see the sprinter and the trailer is standing like that. I think I forgot to put the handbrake on because when I parked it, it was parked quite a lot further up there. Looked like I had a lot of luck because the trailer stopped on the wheel there. No damage on the bumper or nothing. <laughs> well, sometimes you need some luck. Look, up there I have been parking. <laughs> Next time I put the handbrake on. So, here we have one of the cars I have to make finish before I pick up my racing car. This is a Citroën Jumpy. I changed the rear fender there and the lower piece down the side and straight up the rear doors. And now it's just going to be painted and mounted and it's ready. This is the second car I have to be done before I start uh, with the motorsport pen. Um, looks bad, but it's not bad at all. First thing I'm going to do is strip down the stickers, take away all the damaged part, and then we see how it is. And here it is. Stickers and parts is stripped off. And as you can see here, it don't have too much damage at all. It's going to be no problem to fix it. The good thing for this car is that I have a, one more car like this with really damage on the rear. So I have all the front parts. I have everything I need. The tower is on. I'm gonna push down there, and this is that one. And behind me here is the car I'm gonna take parts from. I also need the windscreen from this car. And now I take it out with some special tools. And this we call roll out, rolling out. Because now this wire, I took around the window, window on the outside and into the car down there. And this one, when I turn here, it's dragging the wire. Together. So you can see down there now, and so done. And just a little bit more, and then the meat just all around. Just a little bit more. There we go. All right, I'm done. Now I'm gonna take those off. Like that, and here you see the wire. It's coming from this row. This have been. If you're gonna take out the front screen in one piece. You have to use this tool. If not, you're gonna break it if you So I said earlier I'm gonna show you guys the progress how to straight up this Citroen. But I forgot it. I already painted and I'm done straightening up. Now I'm gonna mount everything together. Looks original and nice too. This piece I actually took off and put back on. Cannot see it now. This tower also, I changed it to go from another car and put there. Ah, it's perfect. No defense start. So I'm just done with uh, 10 one touch meters intervals with these two old boys. <laughs> and I asked them now if we should do a little bit extra, run a little bit more. But they said they want to go home before it's dark because they don't like to drive and it's dark outside. <laughs> So, 
car is cleaned, also the window, and I put special primer on it. So it's time to put the glue. Is it? Yeah, I'm here at Olsen Villa Kering. It's early morning, and this uh, Citroën Jumpy I changed the rear fender on is done painted. Now I'm gonna bring it home and mount it together. Today it's quite hard actually. I have absolutely no energy for go for a run. It's cold, I'm tired. I want to go home, but it has to be done. It's really hard to run in this deep snow. It's hard these conditions. Ha, come here. Go this way. And this inside here. It's even harder. So I am finally done with today's run and I run a little bit extra today. And today I run three hours and one minute. 31.2 kilometers. Holy banana! And <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fit. Here is a picture of the Citroën Balingo. It's uh, ready for sale now. I'm going to put it on the internet now. As you can see, it looks really nice. I'm going to sell it super fast because I'm going to put a low price on it. Same with the Jumpy. It's ready. I'm going to put this one for sale also now. This I'm also going to put for a low price, so I sell it really fast. Looks really nice this car now with the white bumpers and stuff. And with that, we say cheerio for this video log, and a new one will coming soon. Alex Hans is here with me. He also said ciao.